cohabitant, the love and hate relationship, E. coli. E. coli, the bacteria which live in the intestine. They grow well in lab dishes and can divide every 20 minutes. For these properties, it has been the ideal subject of most experiments in the past 100 years. E. coli was used as a research organism in 12 Nobel Prize winning studies. It had a profound influence on the development of genetic engineering. We have been well rewarded for providing food, shelter, and clothes to E. coli. Like in the human body, E. coli lives in pigs. Some of them are dangerous E. coli that cause disease. They are called pathogenic E. coli. Although the origin of this communalism is unclear, one thing is clear. From the origin of the domestic pig, pathogenic E. coli have been always existing. Among them, the two most problematic diseases are calabacillosis and swine edema disease. Oh, that's weird. A healthy piglet died overnight. A veterinarian visited the farm to perform examinations. The area around the tail of the dead piglet was wet. The vet also examined the conditions of the remaining pigs. There were various degrees of diarrhea liquid on the floor. There were also pigs with sunken eyes or with rough skin and fur. There were also pigs lying down and foaming at the mouth and dying. It was calabacillosis that is characterized by diarrhea and dehydration. The main symptoms are asthenia and dehydration. The deterioration of nutritive condition can be progressively debilitating to pigs. And without proper measures, pigs will die. In the case of piglets, it causes sepsis, which can lead to sudden death. It is the most common disease in pig farming and starts to affect immediately without an incubation period. In some farms, up to 80% of pigs are infected and the mortality rate reaches 70%. Low temperature, neglect of maintenance on the delivery day, and being the firstborn piglet, increase the risk of infection. Oh my God, I'm in big trouble. Please come quickly. Pigs that used to be so healthy just keep dying and dying now. It's too many. On the farm, there were pigs with swollen eyelids. When the vet got closer to a pig and touched the carcass, there was water filled inside the internal organs. Perhaps, have you ever seen a pig with head tilt or a pig that can't get up with his feet rolling like riding a bicycle? Yeah, not all of them, but a few were doing exactly the same as you said. Why the hell is that? It's probably because of the edema in the brain. Swine edema disease. It is a terrifying disease with a mortality rate of 80%. It is known that pathogenic E. coli is activated by certain stress after weaning and invades the small intestine and rapidly proliferates, causing toxicosis or hypersensitivity. For calabacillosis, the vaccines have proven their effectiveness a long time ago. The prevention of calabacillosis for piglets 
is through colostrum of vaccinated sows. However, the duration of protection of the vaccine is only a week. Although diarrhea after the period cannot be prevented, it is a necessary preventive measure that can prevent the death of newborn piglets. In the case of swine edema disease, unlike colobacillosis, it can be prevented by a toxoid vaccine that removes toxins 